Whether you find the looks a little bland, or simply dignified, is up to you. For myself, I like the mature look of the scrambler, and find it more appropriate for a slightly older crowd than say, the Ducati scrambler family, for instance. As much as I like it, I have to admit it's a little stodgy, but it is a British bike after all, and a certain amount of that is to be expected. Blackout fork sliders and a cut down front fender lend the bike a custom flavor while the laced, 19 inch front rim and bellow gaiters prepare the bike for off road work. A blackout headlight can hold the Cyclops light, and just above, the single clock holds all of the instrumentation. From there we move aft to what I would have to call a typical Triumph tank complete with a locking gas cap, rubber padded knee pockets and the classic brand badge. The stock rider seat comes with very little scoop, and is really almost a bench to be honest, but the pillion pad can be quickly detached and a small luggage rack mounted in its place for solo missions. Tail light, turn signals and plate holder finish out the rear end with nothing tucked away, but at least the lights themselves are bright LED types that are damn hard to ignore.